Manny's been absolute garbage to begin the season. And I know if you're a Padres fan watching this, you either want to kill me right now for being a Manny hater, or you are just as frustrated as I am. Well, thank you Manny Machado for making me look really good. Manny's been on an absolute tear since I've made that video. Not only has he won National League Player of the Week, but look at his line in those 7 games since I published that video. Crazy! Now, I don't want to take all the credit, but I did want to make this video about how I fixed Manny's swing in 3 minutes. Now to start, remember when I said this? I'm going to go on a limb and say that Manny has a little bit more of an uppercut in his swing this season. And remember what his hot zones look like at the beginning of the season? Well, look at his hot zones in the past 7 games. Dang Manny, I see you put it in work. Look, there are a lot of things I could point out in the difference between these two pictures, but the biggest one I think is the middle of the zone. Manny went from having 0 hits on pitches right down the middle to going 5 of 6 in his past 7 games. But I don't think the numbers tell the entire picture. I think the physical difference in his swing actually makes more sense. So let's take a look. Instead of driving the ball, Manny ended up fouling off a lot of those fastballs down the middle. And if you look at his swing, look at where the bat is at the point of contact. It's clearly under the ball. Now compare that to how Manny's been hitting in the past week. This is the same pitch, fastball right down the middle. And look at where his bat is at the point of contact. He's still hitting the bottom half of the ball, but he's also barreling up the ball a lot more. Let's compare these two swings side by side. On the left, you have one of Manny's swings from the past week, and on the right, you have one of Manny's swings when he was in that bad slump. The bat angle on Manny's good swing seems to be a little more level than on the swing where Manny just fouls off the ball. Now you could say this is because the pitch on the right is a little bit lower than the pitch on the left. But let's look at Manny's hands. The first thing to notice is that on the swing on the right, his hands are separated from his body more than the swing on the left. Imagine where a pitch would have to be for Manny to barrel it up using the swing on the right. It would have to be on the outside edge. That's how extended he is right now. This is why instead of squaring up the ball, Manny gets a little jammed. But another thing to note is that on the swing on the right, at the point of contact, the barrel seems to be out in front of the ball. If you pay close attention, the barrel is behind the ball on the left, but on the right, the barrel is already finishing Manny's swing. He's basically rolling over. All this seems to imply that Manny was trying really hard to pull the ball and drive the ball to left field. But his success on the swing on the left comes from him staying compact and staying through the ball, which leads to a lot more hits like this. Manny drives this out towards deep right center field. Back goes Gallo. He will look up and that ball is going to one off the wall. Line to left field and that's going to get in sharply by Solak, the left fielder. And Machado's headed for second base. Machado to deep left field. It is high, deep, and it is a grand slam to walk it off. Manny Machado is tonight's Padres hero. Now again, these pitches are middle-middle or very close to it. Manny will get mistake pitches. Pitchers will make mistakes. Manny just needs to learn how to stay compact, stay through the ball, and not get under it. And in doing so, he'll hit more home runs and continue to make me look good. Just like he's making me look good right now. Crossing home just as the clock strikes zero. Oh, and sorry for the short video. Got a little sick. Maybe I'll drop a video on the Padres bullpen next week though.